Hey viewers, today I'm taking the Nike Pegasus 36 out for a 10 mile run. Just ran 16.1 kilometers in the Pegasus 36s. Straight out of the box, feel pretty good. I'm in desperate need of water and a shower though. I'll see you back in the studio very shortly. So a real boon for the channel guys. I spotted the Pegasus 36 available on a UK retail site. And I did not hesitate. I got that thing delivered today and I went straight out on a 10 mile run with these. So it's 10 miles, 16.1 kilometers, around about eight minutes per mile pace. It was superb weather out there, a little humid, but there was enough of a breeze just to keep me cool on the way round. I took in a loop of the town, starting in the Nine Springs Country Park, out towards Lysander, and then past the Leonardo Airfield, and onwards to the Yeovil Town Football Stadium, then completing the northern area of Yeovil before starting the downhill ascent back home. So the first run in the Pegasus 36, and I've got to say I'm very impressed. Firstly, the colourway is absolutely awesome. I don't think you can get a more fitting colourway for the Yeovil Town Road Running Club if you tried. The underfoot feel is very, very similar to that of the Pegasus 35. In fact, I don't think there's any changes to the outsole whatsoever. You've still got the full length zoom air pocket and the nice grippy traction lugs uh, all the way across the outsole. So the outsole may be very, very similar to that of the Pegasus 35, but the upper is a very different story. It's much, much lighter and more breathable in my opinion. I've put over 350 miles into the Pegasus 35s, so I know that shoe very well. This one is a vastly different shoe in terms of the upper. So the upper is considerably thinner than that on the Pegasus 35, but it does retain its shape and structure well. I got excellent lockdown on the shoe from the fly wires, and in fairness, I almost completely forgot the shoe was there. Um, it just kind of molded into my foot, and the miles were very, very easy today. There were a few opportunities for me to try to pick up the pace a little bit, but it was a very, very warm day, so I wasn't really able to push much past the uh, 7 minutes 45 per mile pace. So one of the big changes on the Pegasus 36 is that of the tongue. They've made it much thinner and it's much shorter. I really do think that's for the best. The tongue on the Pegasus 35 was quite thick and some people experienced a few problems with it as it came up their ankle a little way. They had to make sure that they were wearing the right socks if they were wearing the Peg 35s. That's not an issue with the Pegasus 36. Even though the tongue's a little bit thinner, I didn't experience any problems with the laces digging into my forefoot. The tongue stayed in position, didn't move around at all. I just didn't really know it was there. I didn't make use of the extra eyelets at the top here, although I really do applaud their inclusion. The heel collar area has changed. The flare's still there, but it's not quite as pronounced as it was on the Peg 35. So overall, after one run, I feel the changes are very positive and the changes are justified. I feel that they do make the shoe more versatile. If you're in the market for one shoe that's going to do all things for you, a bit of racing, a bit of training, this could well be the shoe for you. I think value for money is probably going to be pretty good on this Pegasus 36. Certainly the slight weight drop is very welcomed and I think it will become more apparent over higher mileage. So I shall keep you updated as I put more miles into this shoe. Definitely the thumbs up for me after the first run though. Okay guys, that's all I've got for you today. Hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching right through to the end. Remember to click that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. Thumbs up, like any of the videos you've particularly enjoyed. 
My name's Ed Bird, and I'll be seeing you.